everybody, welcome back. I wanted to go to a steakhouse, but unlike the old days, you can't just stop in anymore. It's really hard to get a reservation on weekends or busy times. If you don't have a reservation made a couple days in advance, sometimes some of the very popular places are very difficult to get into. So I wanted to find a place where it wasn't going to be super expensive and I didn't feel like $15 steak places either like a coffee shop. I wanted a real steakhouse, but something not very expensive, but prices now are sky high. Las Vegas still has some cheap steak deals, but usually that's after hours, late night. So what could I find in fabulous Las Vegas with all that it has to offer? I managed to find a place that had some availability on a Friday night on EDC weekend. This is located in the Palace Station right at Sahara and I-15. The Palace Station is located not too far from all the mega hotels near the resort corridor. It kind of has a locals hotel type of feel to it. It has a couple of food courts. They're famous for their oyster bar and they have a steakhouse. This is the charcoal room. Pretty decent looking place, not as crowded, not as dark. There's a wine display and a small bar. I've never been to this place before. It was a pretty nice setup, pretty classy, but not rigid. They don't enforce a dress code here. It's a little more laid back. This place was a lot less crowded than some of the other places around town. I always tell myself don't eat too much of the bread, but somehow unconsciously I always wind up eating too much. The most expensive appetizer here is something they call the seafood jackpot. It's loaded. King crab, oysters, lobster, jumbo shrimp. It's $45 per person. There were two of us, so this is $90. The jumbo shrimp was pretty good sized, but they were not as big as the ones at Jerry's Nugget. If you watched my video on Jerry's Nugget, they had a shrimp cocktail there for about $17, $18. A lot of steakhouses have these seafood platters. This one was very similar to a seafood platter we had at the Top of the World restaurant at the Stratosphere. And the price was identical. If you see my video on the Stratosphere's Top of the World restaurant, they also had a seafood platter. Let me show you a clip from that video just to show you how similar they are. It was called a shellfish display, same price. They also had king crab, jumbo shrimp, chilled lobster tails, and one thing that they had that they didn't have here was lump crab meat, Oscar style. They also gave you a little bit more of the fresh oysters on a half shell. But I recall that the chilled lobster at the Stratosphere was not as good as the ones here. The lobster here at the Palace Station was a lot better. The charcoal room here at Palace Station also gave you more king crab. There was more of it and it was bigger. But this is an expensive appetizer and if you don't want to spend so much, you can get individual appetizers. They also have other appetizers like you can get a shrimp cocktail for $15. Over at the Venetian, if you got a shrimp cocktail, they gave you five shrimp for about $24. They were pretty good size, but not worth $24 in my opinion. Prices are really high these days. This appetizer is not cheap, but if you want to splurge, you can. The oysters here were just so-so, and they weren't totally detached from the shell. I wonder if the oysters are better at the oyster bar, but I don't know these days. The oysters weren't very good, but the king crab was incredible. It didn't matter that the king crab was chilled. I know some people like hot steamed king crab with drawn butter, but the chilled king crab was just as good. Well, maybe a little bit less, but these king crab were awesome. They were sweet and succulent 
I didn't get drawn butter with them, but just by itself, the king crab was worth the $45. This steakhouse also has king crab as an entree. You can order it as your main dish. The lobster here was also pretty good. I thought the lobster here was a lot better than the one I had at Top of the World at the Stratosphere. The ones at the Stratosphere were dried out. These were much, much better. And likewise, the shrimp was also pretty good. They weren't the biggest jumbo shrimp I've had, but you know the problems with the supply chain and all that. It was still pretty good. Here come the steaks. The 10 ounce filet here was $49. This might be slightly cheaper than some of the other places, some of the other high end places. But the quality was just as good, very similar. It had a good sear on the outside and the inside was soft and velvety. There are a lot of good steakhouses in Las Vegas. You probably have your favorites, like this one at the Venetian at Smith & Walensky. At the Stratosphere at the Top of the World restaurant, they had a huge 16 ounce bone-in filet. It was close to $80 last year, 2020, at the time the video was made. But that's to be expected from a reputable steakhouse. The filet mignon is more than just a good cut of meat, it's like a blissful experience. And I'm sure most restaurants don't want to mess it up when they bring it to your table. Whenever I order a different cut of steak, I usually find myself begging somebody at the table for a bite of their filet mignon. The filet mignon at the charcoal room was excellent. But I ordered a ribeye. This is the 22 ounce bone in ribeye. But my ribeye didn't have a bone. But I'm not complaining because I don't have a bone, but it seemed a little bit smaller than a 22 ounce. Or maybe I just felt that way because I wanted more. This steak was juicy, but that's to be expected from a ribeye because of the higher fat content. It's going to be noticeably different and better than your average cut of steak that you'll find in an average restaurant. But if your opinion is that most steaks all taste similar, then well, I guess what you don't know won't hurt you. But the reason why steakhouses still do a lot of business, even with the prices being as high as they are now, is because they are good at what they do. At $9 for a baked potato, it's pretty expensive. They have a shrimp scampi as an accompaniment for $16. The baked potato and some of the sides here were a little cheaper than other steakhouses I've been to. The one at Stratosphere and the Venetian, you're talking about $15 for a baked potato. But that goes hand in hand with the steakhouse experience where everything is done to the highest quality. Velvety smooth and creamy mashed potatoes. There is something about a steakhouse where the quality really stands out. It is quite an experience. The buffets in Las Vegas get a lot of the attention, but to me, the quality is different because you won't find this type of quality at a buffet where they mass produce the food. A real steakhouse that specializes in the food that they make is worth the price for me. Although I wish it was a little bit lower, these are really high prices. And these are the prices at steakhouses in Las Vegas now. They're gonna be pricey, but if it's worth the experience for you, the Charcoal Room is a legitimate steakhouse. And I'm glad I could find another place, another option for steak at a little bit less busier location. And the prices are just a little bit cheaper for some items than other steakhouses on the high end scale. And the food was great. Now there are a couple of other places in Las Vegas you can get steaks for maybe half this price, but the quality may not be a real steakhouse quality. 
I'll show you a little bit of the menu if you want to get an idea of what they have. I'll also have a link to the restaurant in the description below. But as I said before, there are a lot of good steak options in Las Vegas. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.